Hello? Dr. Metcalf? Is anyone there? I am scared. Pay no attention to the boy. Oh, don't worry. He can't hear me. Only you. I won't hurt you. Okay. It's been a long time since anyone came to visit me. What's your name? Well, my mom called me Abby. But after I came here, they said that couldn't be my name anymore. How old are you? Six and a half. But I'll be seven next month. He's just a little younger than you. Does he like to play with dolls? He likes Batman. And he has some toy soldiers. I have a doll. Except she's missing right now. What does it look like? Not it. Her. Her name is Samantha. She looks just like my mom. She has long brown hair and a pretty red dress. What happened to her? I don't know. But I sure miss her. I hope you find her. You sound nice. Would you like to play a game? What games do you know? I know. Let's play I Spy. I'll go first. I spy for a little eye. Something that begins with T. Now you try to guess what it is. Yay, you got it. Okay, here's another one. I spy with my little eye. Something that begins with L. That's it. And you know, even with that light on, it sure is dark in here. Not like the chapel upstairs. How come? It's nice and quiet. I like to go there when I'm getting better at my operations. I like the pretty glass west windows and the nice music. That sounds hard. Dr. Metcalf is trying to make me better. There's a part inside me that's sick and he keeps trying to find, find it and cut it out. He doesn't know what it is. He's really, really nice to keep trying, though. How many operations have you had? I'm not sure. There's somewhere they need to cut me open, and somewhere they don't. Since I don't have legs anymore, they have to carry me around. And someone has to feed me now, too. Do you know what it's called? They won't tell me. They say I'm too young to understand, but I think I know. I'm sick because my mom wanted me to be a girl. Or are you a girl? A boy, of course. I was never confused. Only my mom was. She really wanted to have a girl. She used to put me in dresses and brush my hair and call me Abby. I just pretended with her to make her happy. Did you ever try to tell him? He isn't a good listener. Not like you. Why does that mean you're sick? You have to ask him that. I guess if you pretend something to make someone else happy, it means you're sick. What does it sound like? There's an old man who comes and plays the organ. His name is Mr. Morgan. I don't know how to get inside. Oh, it's easy. Just ask one of the attendants. They've got these big key rings, and the key to the chapel is always the biggest one on the ring. Sometimes they let me open it myself. Henry Cotton, our greatest authority on the focal infection theory. A brilliant man. That is where the image appears when the machine is switched on. You've stopped shivering, Oliver. Perhaps now is a good time to tell you that choosing streptomycin to get rid of your bubonic plague was a smart move. My diploma from the Sorbonne. Dr. Metcalf is the only one who knows how to work it. He never lets anyone else push the buttons.
I performed some of my most brilliant surgery on that table. Scrubbing up was always the most tedious part of performing surgery. Leave it, Oliver. One day, a real surgeon might use this place again. You're not going to leave me all alone, are you? I'll come back. I promise. Cross your heart and hope to die? Cross my heart and... I promise. Okay, bye. Where's Mom? She's probably home waiting for us. She'll give you a great big hug when we get back. Welcome to the chapel. My name is Frank Morgan. I was the visiting organist. Once the ice pick was inserted below the eyelid, a few taps of this hammer were sufficient to break through into the brain. This ice pick was used by Dr. Metcalf to perform over 500 prefrontal lobotomies. Joan of Arc, burned at the stake, quite mad, you know, claimed she heard voices. That is Saint Adrian of Nicodemia. He was a Roman soldier who was thrown in prison for his beliefs. His legs were smashed with an anvil and they chopped off his arms with an axe. He's a patron saint of prison warders. Saint Christopher, 
He was thrashed with an iron rod, then a red-hot helmet was put over his head, and he was beheaded. He's the patron saint of accidents. Saint Sebastian, patron saint of frail and sickly children. He was tied to a tree and shot with, with hundreds of arrows. When that didn't kill him, they clubbed him to death and dumped his body into Rome's main sewer. Saint Agatha had her, uh, Rests cut off and then was rolled naked on a bed of hot coals mixed with sharp splinters of glass. That is Saint Vincent. He was lacerated with hooks and pincers, then roasted on a grid. It's a splendid instrument, predating the asylum itself. It was imported from Germany by Charles Connolly. Welcome! It seems most of the other people I've met met were inmates. I guess I just grew attached to this, this wonderful old organ. Well, and of course, it couldn't be away today of all days. What's so special? April 23rd is the feast day of St. George. It's also Shakespeare's birthday, which altogether makes it a great day for England. And of course, there's always tomorrow. What happens then? Why, it's your birthday, Oliver. St. Mark's Eve. Did you know children born that day can see spirits and talk to ghosts? I guess you're proving the legend true. I don't believe in the supernatural. If I'm lucky, this is all a dream. If I'm not, then I'm having some kind of prolonged hallucination. It always amazes me how far people will go to close their eyes on what's all around them. Very well, Oliver. Believe what you will. It is a copy made from a painting of St. George. It's welded together. It's attached. Yay, you came back, just like you promised. Let's play more I Spy.
Let's let's go. Great. I spy with my little eye something that's white. Right. Let's keep playing. I spy with my little eye something that begins with tiger. I've started a tunnel, Dad. I'm gonna dig my way out. I saw them do it on Scooby-Doo. Be careful, Josh. Don't hurt yourself. Okay, Dad. Hey, Josh. I need help with a kind of a riddle. What is it? What is something that begins with tiger? You know, like in a game of I Spy. Let me see. Tigers go grrr. How about grapes, or maybe ground? Thanks, Josh. You've been a big help. Great! Get it? A tiger goes growl. I used to be afraid of all kinds of animals. Just like the cowardly lion in the Wizard of Oz. But now I'm not afraid anymore. Do, do you? Oh yes, especially the ruby slippers. How come you're not afraid? I just pretend I made of metal like the Tin Man. Then if an animal bites like me, it won't hurt. I think that's smart thinking. The operation still hurt though. But Dr. Mick isn't like an animal who's trying to hurt me. He's trying to make me better. So that's different. Is he your favorite? Nope. Scarecrow. The Tin Man has that hollow sound that's kind of scary. Like the night in the chapel. You mean there's nothing in there? Sure. They used to lift up the visor and put stuff in there all the time. Then they told us we couldn't do that anymore. I like how his legs are all rubbery. I think Dorothy liked them too. Remember at the end when she said, I'll miss you most of all. That's what I said to my mom when they brought me here. That's why I want my doll so much. It reminds me of her. It's locked. A long time ago, I threw away the key for a joke, but Dr. Metcalf just uses one of his tools to open it. That's the tune Dr. Metcalf always hums when he opens that door. We have nothing to discuss, Oliver.
What are you doing? Leave that alone! There's something inside that I need. <laughs> I say, your hacks all snapped clean in two. That's the doll I was looking for. Take it with my blessing. Going for a ride, Oliver? Do be careful. The problem with these spears is that you never know where the next one is going to come from. Good idea. You should probably hurry. Excellent, Oliver. Well done. My final resting place, or it will be as soon as this evening's work is done. <clears throat> Can't lift it. They died to advance science. It's wrong to experiment on people. We didn't experiment on them. We tried to cure them. You simply do not understand science, Oliver. You must try new things to see if they work. Otherwise, progress will never be made. You killed them. Sometimes people have to die so that others may live. These patients were unlucky. We have nothing to discuss, Oliver. I bought it in Brazil at the same time as the box you found in the safe. I've hidden that key especially for you, but I'll give you a clue where to find it. You always liked riddles, Oliver. Try this one. My office quite fast. Yielded keys manifold, but you'll find the last in the one who knows cold. My doll! Thank you! Can we play one more game of I Spy? Just one. Please? But just one. Thanks. Here we go. I spy with my little eye something that's red. You figured it out. Get it? I love that joke. Anyway, you win!
I think we both both won. You're fun. Thanks for playing play with me. Dr. Metcalf never plays with, with me. He doesn't even call me by my name. He just calls me 1225. That's strange. He says it's a code. He gets it from my nickname. What's your real name? Abraham Wagner. I guess that's why my mom called me Abby. Don't you ever get mad at Dr. Metcalf? Why? He's doing the best he can. My mom says that's all we can ever expect from someone, that he does the best he can. So that's what I try to do, too. No, no, Oliver. Never guess. You don't have enough information yet to know what this combination is. Dr. Metcalf is the only one who knows how to work it. He never lets anyone else push the buttons. Don't go down there! Bad things happen there. No, no, Oliver. Never guess. You don't have enough information yet to know what this combination is. Da, 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 da. That's what Dr. Metcalf always hums when he opens that door. That's the tune Dr. Metcalf always hums when he opens that door. Welcome. Are there stairs? Not through here, I'm afraid. The journey you took was a one-time affair. What happened to it? You said you believed this was all in your head. Shouldn't you be asking yourself that question? That's Bach's three-part invention in F minor. You should hear that on a pipe organ. Bach certainly knew how to write. No wonder Dr. Metcalf liked him so much. 